deals? This is the question that has been swirling around as Ivanka Trump, daughter of former US President Donald Trump, testified in a civil fraud case that threatens the Trump business empire. Rewind to the beginning of this saga when a judge found Donald Trump and his two adult sons, Eric and Donald Jr., liable for fraud, ruling they inflated assets to secure favorable loans. Ivanka Trump, 42 years old at the time, was also initially a co-defendant until an appeals court ruled in her favor this year. Despite her best efforts to avoid testifying, citing reasons such as not being able to leave her children in Florida during a school week, a New York judge and appeals court ruled that she must take the stand as a witness. The mother of three had no choice but to comply. This non-jury trial presided over by a judge will decide on allegations of falsifying business records, insurance fraud and conspiracy. If found guilty, Mr. Trump could be stripped of prized assets like Trump Tower. New York Attorney General Letitia James, whose office filed the lawsuit, is seeking $250 million in fines and severe restrictions on how the Trump business operates in the state. During her testimony in New York Supreme Court in Lower Manhattan, Ms. Trump's responses were composed, succinct, and oftentimes forgetful. She repeatedly stated that she did not recall specifics or was not aware of certain details. State lawyers questioned her about her role in securing loans from Deutsche Bank for the Trump National Doral Miami, the old post office in Washington, D.C., and Trump International Hotel and Amp Tower Chicago. She claimed to not remember an email she wrote about a loan stating, It doesn't get better than this. Ivanka's forgetfulness frustrated Louis Solomon, the state lawyer questioning her. Trump attorney Christopher Keyes argued that Ms. Trump had been dragged all the way from Florida to discuss files that were beyond the statute of limitations. Donald Trump, the Republican frontrunner for next year's White House election, also accused the attorney general and the judge, both Democrats, of being politically motivated. This is a very unfair trial, he said, during evidence that drew rebukes from the judge. In conclusion, this case raises questions about what one can and cannot remember, especially when it comes to multi-million dollar property deals. As the trial continues, only time will tell whether the Trump family will be held accountable for the allegations of fraud.